Hi, my name is Ricky Sweet Feet Foggy, uh, University of Minnesota graduate from 84 to 1987. The one thing we had on our side was the option offense. And, um, and we went to Michigan in 84, and they beat us 35 to 17. But we knew we had the blueprint at that time to give their defense some issues. And so going back down there in 86, uh, we knew we were going to be able to control the football, but we had no idea our defense was going to play as well as it did. We didn't have anything to lose. You know, that was, Michigan was number two team in the nation at the time. And like I said, we was a 29-point underdog. And so we were just going to go down. We was going to have a lot of fun. We was going to play our butts off uh, for 60 minutes and just see how it went. Once we came out of halftime and we were still in the game and going into the fourth quarter, they hadn't blew us out like everybody thought they was. Um, we just grew as a team. You just filled us, our sideline because we was the only one there. We thought, you know, it was 101,000 Michigan fans at the game. We knew once we got towards the end of that fourth quarter and we had the football, that the game was swinging in our direction. And then, you know, we came, got into the fourth quarter. It was late. And we were still in the ball game. And um, I remember going on the sideline. We had the ball, and Coach Gudikins called a timeout. And I remember going over to the sideline, and um, he said it was 30 and about three. He, you know, he asked me what he wanted to do. I said, you know, let's take a shot at it. Let's go for it. And I thought they had got a little, little nervous, a little timid, because here's this Minnesota team. They ain't supposed to be in the game. And we driving down to win this thing. And that was, you know, you can see the confidence growing in our team and on our teammates. You can see it in their faces. And everybody really wanted it because didn't nobody give us a shot but us. It was like a blur. I had the option to either run or pass, and my teammates knew I was running first. And so uh, I, I couldn't believe they let me outside the pocket. And once I broke broken tame, and I'm probably 10 or 15 yards down the field, and I see Melvin Anderson, I'm ready to run out of bounds, and he throws a great block for me to spring me probably for another 10 to 15 yards. And then, you know, it was, it's a split second thing. As you're, as you're going through it, you really don't know that you're setting yourself up and win a big game like that. We're holding hands on the sidelines. Everybody's praying and we want to get a clean snap. And once we seen him go up, we knew it was good. And so uh, everybody just started celebrating because that's one of those games that you'll relive forever in your life. Just going down there in front of 101,000, um, it, really, it really brings back a lot of good memories. And I think a lot of people are now my age, uh, that was probably in college at that time with me. It's a real good memory in their mind also. At that point, you know, I might have been 19 years old and uh, it was just a blur of uh, how, how, how we put that team together and how that game uh, came together and um, it, was, it was magical.